Inside the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption that could instantly kill 90,000 people. Geologists recently discovered signs of rhyolite volcanism in the Yellowstone caldera, which is shifting northeast. The most recent supervolcanic eruption on Earth occurred about 27,000 years ago during the Stone Age, when early humans were still making tools and decorating cave walls. The colossal event, known as the Oruanui eruption, originated at the center of the Taupo volcano on New Zealand's North Island. The eruption covered a wide area with volcanic ash, up to 7 inches 18 centimeters, deep in some areas, with deposits believed to have spread as far as 620 miles 1, kilometers. What sets supervolcanoes apart from ordinary volcanoes is the scale of their eruptions. They are rated at a magnitude 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, meaning they spew more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, about 240 cubic miles, of volcanic material in a single event. One of the most studied and potentially dangerous supervolcanoes today is located in the United States, the Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming. Though it lies beneath the serene and beautiful Yellowstone National Park, this sleeping giant is home to a volcanic system that could transform continents. According to a How Stuff Works documentary about Yellowstone, although the volcano has been dormant for about 640,000 years, scientists continue to monitor it for signs of renewed activity. The region experiences periodic releases of underground pressure through its famous geysers and hot springs. If the pressure builds significantly, it can melt the rock beneath the surface and form a volatile mixture of magma, gas, and rock. This mixture could eventually create a dome that bulges above the surface and, in the worst case scenario, erupt with devastating force. If such an eruption were to occur, the documentary notes that the initial blast could instantly kill up to 90,000 people. The devastation wouldn't stop there, as lava flows and pyroclastic material could cover an area more than 1,000 miles 1, kilometers, engulfing neighboring states like Montana and Idaho. Emergency response efforts would be severely hampered by the treacherous terrain and widespread destruction. The eruption would also throw a huge amount of ash into the atmosphere, disrupting air movement across a huge radius, similar to the 2010 eruption of Iceland's Eyjafjallajoko volcano, but on a much larger scale. The ash cloud could encircle the globe 
and contribute to a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. This occurs when sulfur dioxide from an eruption forms a reflective aerosol layer in the upper atmosphere, blocking sunlight and drastically cooling the planet. Temperatures could drop as much as 10 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit worldwide. Such a dramatic cooling event could disrupt global agriculture, leading to widespread crop failures and food shortages, especially in areas already vulnerable to famine. Despite the potential for disaster, the likelihood of a catastrophic Yellowstone eruption remains extremely low. The United States Geological Survey USGS, estimates the annual probability of such an event at about 0.00014%, about 1 in 730,000. USGS scientists stress that there is no evidence that a major eruption at Yellowstone is imminent and consider it unlikely in the next few centuries. They also note that scientists have found no indication of smaller lava eruptions. <laughs> 